Troy Hi. Wayman's here from One Acadiana. Good morning to you. Good morning. I'm happy that you looked on your calendar, too, and realized it was Monday khaki pants and blue shirt day. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm actually more purple, but little, it's all right. Color yeah. blind. It's blue it's to right. me. It's 100% it's blue, to blue to me. To so, you know, you can call it what you want to, but I would wear that as if it were blue. <laughs> uh, good morning. It's good to see you. It's good to be here. It's really oh. funny because, see, I, sometimes I think Bernie doubts me when I'm like, I don't know about that. Because I'm colorblind, and it all looks the same at the ends of the spectrum. <laughs> you know, all the lights look the same. Sure. The rainbow colors look pretty pretty decent. Right. But when you get to the darks and the lights, You're it's like, all the it's same. All... It's all the same. So, so anyway, either he's using me and playing the long game. Right. You know, he yeah. knew this was purple. He was just saying it was What purple. I did was I texted him last night and said, wear a shirt I could confuse. <laughs> anyway, um, so there's plenty going on. Um, lots of major events uh, with one Acadiana. We love talking about them because it just gets more and more people involved in the business community. Um, uh, even some individuals, small businesses might even be like, there are a lot of one person small businesses uh, in this area, which is so great. And there are ways for them to get involved. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the lion's share of our membership are small businesses, and that's one of the things that we, uh, you know, we need to we focus on. You know, we've we've recently started a program uh, with uh, Louisiana Economic Development, where we're doing a CEO roundtable, mm-hmm. and it's a it's a pretty competitive uh, structure to get into that CEO roundtable. We've got a pretty good class this year. Uh, very excited about that. We've had one meeting so far. We get them together and let them talk. Um, it's a great one-on-one kind of peer-to-peer networking opportunity uh, for those folks to, uh, you know, learn best practices and that sort of thing. Well, we know. I mean, we hear it. We get the phone calls. You know, so many people, when it gets rough, their first thought is, oh, we got to go. We got to go to Texas. It's so good to hear these CEOs who make the conscious decision to be here and have their workforce here and make their product here. I mean, and there are so many businesses that are growing here, too. It, it may not seem obvious because we are, are, are focused a lot on the oil and gas industry, but, I mean, a bunch of different areas growing. Absolutely. You know, we uh, one of the things that's important to us is diversification of the economy. Uh, I think you'll hear you'll hear Lauren Scott, Dr. Lauren Scott, talk about that coming up on the 26th at our event. There are only We've only got about 40 tickets left. You know, you're talking about our events. That's one of the things that that's uh, great for us is our events always – sell out. Yeah. And uh, that, that means, number one, we're doing meaningful events, mm-hmm. me- events that people find some value in. Um, but we've got about 40 tickets left for that. Uh, Dr. Lauren Scott, uh, as I've mentioned before, you know, he's that rare economist with a great personality, very entertaining mm-hmm. uh, speaker. You usually um, don't get both. Exactly. You get one or the other. You're, you're either exactly right. fun to be around or you're good with numbers, you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, he, and he is both, which is really cool. Yeah, it, it is. It, um, it is interesting. And, and, you know, he doesn't he doesn't sugarcoat it. Um, he'll tell yeah. you like it is. But I think he'll have some more positive news for our area and, and what's going on around here. So uh, I know this kind of loosely impacts businesses. And a lot of people were looking at the news that we had late last month about LAGCO moving. Um, any thoughts from the One Acadiana perspective on what the move means? Is it an indicator of the overall economy? Uh, kind of what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, uh, it, yeah, it affects Lafayette because we hate to lose that conference. Uh, I mean, but... But is it an indicator of the overall economy? I think absolutely not. If you look at the reasoning in their press release for the reason they're going to New Orleans, I mean, they need more square footage. They need a little more capacity. Uh, they're they're looking to draw people, more people into the, the conference. So it's not a sign of the economy in, in Lafayette being bad or the oil and gas economy being bad necessarily. It's just a sign of the times. We had that conference for 30 years. Uh, so surprising that they haven't moved around a little more often. Because I mean, most conferences move every year. Absolutely. I mean, it's just sort of what they do in order to, to kind of meet their consumer wherever it is. Absolutely. And I tell you, the, the team that, that's, that's working on this with, you know, Greg Gotro, Ben Berthelot, and the mayor and us, I mean, we'll, we're going to work very hard to try to get them back here in 2021. Cool. All right, so there's an event for women coming up, especially women in yes. business. Absolutely. It's coming up uh, on the 20th. Uh, we've only got about 20 tickets left for that. Um, so, again, selling out quick, quickly. Yeah. Uh, 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 Chris, uh, Krista Bio with uh, Dodge Chrysler uh, Jeep Ram Fiat and, uh, and Acadiana Mazda in Lafayette and Acadiana Dodge Chrysler Ram uh, in Abbeville. Uh, serves as chairman of the board for all three companies and uh, dealer principal for the Mazda store. Um, uh, very exciting to hear from her. Uh, of course, you and I are not invited. Bernie, you can attend. <laughs> Yay! 
We just we have to stand right outside the door and knock four <laughs> times if we want to come in to bring water or something. Um, okay, cool. Well, that's awesome. Krista is really great. Um, she is. I was going to say one of the mm-hmm. one of the hallmarks of a business owner is you know when Bernie and I go do a show somewhere, it is not daylight yet when we get there. And um, we were out. I guess it was probably about a year ago. We were mm-hmm. out in Brobridge at one of the dealerships' uh, grand opening. And she was there at the same time we were, just making sure everything was good and everything. So That's it'll awesome. be good to get her yeah. her insight on that. Okay, so uh, of all these great events that you're having, these blockbuster events, where can people get tickets and get more information? Go to our website, oneacadiana.org, uh, and you can get tickets there. And you can also get more information about other events that we have coming up and uh, other information about what's going on and what yeah. we're doing. And, and to become a member. Because Absolutely. You, it's an ongoing thing. It's not like there's no open enrollment period. You can you can walk in, you can call, you can go online and learn about the member benefits, different things. I just think the general barometer that your events bring, whether it's the um, Dr. Scott event or there's the big summit that happens earlier in the year where people just come together, it's good to know other people are, are surviving, you know, and, and not even just surviving but thriving too, which is Ab- always a good thing. Absolutely. And, you know, we've got another event that we're going to be rolling out first of next year. I'll, I'll give you just a little peek out of the tent. We're – we're focusing some, some on our education and workforce development, um, and uh, uh, we're very excited about that, uh, about some announcements we'll have coming up about some, some stretch goals that we're offering in, in, the, in that area and some work that we're doing to uh, um, raise awareness and actually tell the positive stories in the education community around the nine parishes. Mm-hmm. I mean, we get plenty of the bad news, uh, or the bad stories, but we want to help some of these superintendents and these school districts tell the, the positive things as well. Really great. Troy Wayman from One Acadiana. Give that website one more time where people can get tickets. Oneacadiana.org. And again, um, on the 20th is the Women in Business. I, I butchered the name. What's it called? <laughs> it's the <laughs> Acadiana Women's Business Network. There you go. Acadiana Women's Business ne- Network. And then on the 26th is uh, Dr. Lauren Scott, the economist. That's a breakfast. And you know how I feel. You have to eat breakfast anyway. Absolutely. So you might as well go eat breakfast with people who are in the business community and to uh, get some really good news, or at least some good information. Some more positive news. Positive news. Troy Wayman, thanks for coming by.